Hello Aquarius, welcome to your bi-monthly energy update. Today we're going to be looking at a few things for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Aquarius, let's go ahead and just get started. I feel like um, since I've already taken a look at your pre-shuffle, the energies that came out very strongly, let me see if I can better word it. Um, there is a confusion here created between you and somebody there is a physical connection there was intimacy there was a lot of physical attraction here okay there's a deep intense connection that you feel with somebody but someone's emotional unavailability may have really confused the other person what i'm getting really strongly here is aquarius you may have feelings for two people or this is someone who you are dealing with who is maybe with somebody right now and they don't really know what to do about their feelings with you i don't know um some of you may be involved in a third party situation some of you are a little bit confused out about somebody you're interested in and how they really feel about the situation right now so that's what we're going to look at and that's what we're going to start with first for aquarius what is in your heart's deepest desire? What do you? What is it that you want to see happen or come to fruition? Um, what is it that you feel very strongly about at this time? Is it? Is it something that you want to see happen? Is it a particular person? I have no idea what's going to come through, but the King of Swords kept coming out, and that is Aquarian energy, but. But also for me, I feel like you are maybe finding yourself feeling maybe emotionally unavailable at this time. Or you feel like there's somebody who's not very honest about how they feel and you don't know where you and them stand. So let's take a look here. What is in your heart's deepest desire or what is it that you want to see come to pass? For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, we do have here the High Priestess. Look at this. I was just talking about, for some of you, you know, figuring out, I do see three people here. I do, I am picking up more of a male Aquarian energy or someone with strong Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in their chart who... <laughs> Because right now trying to figure out what to do, they may be involved with somebody, but they have feelings for another. Others of you, you have feelings for somebody and you want them to come out and say it, but you guys are both playing like this cold, detached, hard to read energy. But the thing is that's there is I'm getting, not only do you guys have this beautiful, intense, deep, spiritual emotional romantic connection <clears throat> you guys understand each other very deeply it's like almost like you can read this person without them having to say what's on their mind you kind of just know but i'm gonna say at times it maybe creates some doubts because they you also feel like maybe it's all in my head with the high priestess you know, maybe because you know, the high priestess is um, things left unspoken. You know, knowing without needing the words. And there's something you want to have a known, maybe once and for all. Or maybe you just want to hear this person say it <clears throat> at least once or again for others of you. You know, there's something that you know, there's something that you feel something can potentially grow and something can come out of this connection however i feel like any time it becomes intimate or any time it starts heading in that direction one or both of you shuts down but i'm getting here um this is the feeling that you guys both have at heart some of you another person shuts down because they Feel like they can't continue it because there's somebody else involved. <clears throat> 
some of you, you know that they're in a very unemotional relationship right now. They're in a relationship which they want out of, but they can't. And you want this person to really do something here with the justice card coming out. You know, maybe you're waiting on this person to leave somebody. I'm really just getting a very strong energy of... There's something about the two of you. That's what I keep picking up. Both of you guys were kind of going into this situation with this feeling of like no strings attached thing, you know, like not really anticipating or expecting really anything quite more to develop. But due to your, um, you know, the more that you, that the more time you guys spend, the more you open up, you kind of find out or feel like you two belong with each other. You guys just kind of belong together. But of course, you know, there are still this like, maybe the circumstances, the situation right now is a bit difficult because one or both of you are with this third party situation. It could be a person. It could be due to your location. It could be due to work, be due to um, your personal or your working relationship. It makes it difficult for you guys to really discuss what you guys both feel for one another or at least on an emotional level so it's emotionally unclear right now to the both of you what this thing is and what's you guys are both resorting to is sadly well not sadly but it's just the physical connection that's something that you guys both know for sure you know like uh, there's something here i'm getting um that's what I'm getting here. There's a certain, there's a secret. Ah, that's it. That's a secret. You guys are both desiring each other secretly. And it's becoming emotionally confusing. All right. So what do you want to see? What is in your heart's deepest desire right now, Aquarius, that you want to see happen? Ooh, this. Maybe to get to know this person better, just to um, see this person again, hang out with this person, be close to this person, be one on one with this person. And getting here, you know, it's just the two people, two of them. Um, see, I'm telling you something here. What is the actual situation right now, though? Okay. <clears throat> What is the actual situation right now at this time? Feels fast. It's kind of like I'm almost getting here. Like I won't be here long. Do you have time available? Like I want to see you quickly. Do you have time? I'm getting like this really fast energy. Um, you know, they want to. If they're in town for a little bit, they definitely want to see you um, before they leave. If you guys just see each other at work, okay, this is what I'm getting here. You guys don't have enough time to spend with each other right now. It feels fast. Um, and somebody here really wants more time with this person. But how the situation is right now is, as you can see here, it's like constantly on the go, um, constantly on the move. It feels rushed. Maybe, you know, this even just... Um, feels a bit last minute. 
or not enough time is kind of what I'm getting here. Also, somebody here is taking their time. Let's see, what, what does it look like on the other end of this reading? What does it look like on the other end of this reading? I hope this reading makes more sense to you guys than it does to me. I'm getting here. That's, that's what I keep getting. I keep getting like this person wants more time with you. Um, they want to stay. They wish they could just stay forever. But they can't. Because of some things going on. Maybe they have to leave soon. There are other things calling them. Um, could be a person, place, or event. Um, what does it look like on the other end of this reading right now, Aquarius? See, it feels fast. You are definitely on somebody's mind here. On the other end, we have the Two of Pentacles. Are they going to be able to see you? Are they not going to be able to see you? I'm feeling somebody is actually purposely holding back their um, feelings for you. Not expressing them, not communicating it. Feeling a bit unemotionally uninvolved or detached at this current time. Because they don't really see how it could work out. But they want to see you. Um, this is kind of like a... Um, <sighs> I don't know why I'm getting this, but you guys... This is starting to get, starting to feel like a one night stand energy that um, becomes like a full blown relationship. Someone catching feelings. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This is someone really catching feelings for somebody who was not intending to. I mean, for reasons of not being able to stay, for reasons of. You know, never really having it, never really wanting to settle down, never really, you know, ha they were just having a good, good time. You know, nothing, wasn't expecting anything really more to come out of this or so suddenly. But this connection itself, it was kind of faded almost. It was like, you know... I'm really getting Six of Pentacles here. They found, they met their match. Um, they feel like this is the one, huh? How funny is that? How that, you know, um, this happened the way it did with, you know, us both maybe not having expectations for really anything else or one of you. Um, let's take a look at what to know about this connection right now. This is getting very interesting, Aquarius. Let's take a look. What to know, what to avoid some things you may or may not know about this whole thing. We have strength and page of pentacles. We have somebody holding back a message. Okay, something you don't know about right now, somebody holding back a message. It's like someone here who's afraid to really speak up and say what they want to say because they don't want to feel stupid. What if they feel like this is just one-sided? <laughs> okay. Strength and Page of Pentacles, they they want to maybe ask this person out or take this relationship further. Um, they're maybe they're really thinking about it right now, but they're not saying it just yet. Um, we have the King of Wands with the Two of Pentacles again. I see same cards from three different decks, you guys. This is um. I'm telling you, this message is coming very loud and clear for me. We have the Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles here. If you can see here, somebody is really wanting just to take you on a date, really want to date you seriously, or you do, so you want to see somebody, um, you know, really take them out on a date, really to get to know them, spend time with them, maybe perhaps out of the bedroom, <laughs> I don't know, or, you know, to really date somebody, you know, take this relationship further to see somebody again but somebody here is actually like me I shouldn't you know I shouldn't see them again because I'm gonna 
fall for them. I'm, you know, I'm going to catch feelings. And somebody here is like, I shouldn't do it. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Both of you guys are wondering, is something more going to come out of this? Both of you guys are a little bit unsure how the other person feels at this current time. Both of you guys are kind of like, is there something more out of this? And I'm getting yes. Somebody here. One, it was the Knight of Wands, hot, sexy, flighty energy, Queen of Cups, King of Wands. Um, yeah, they're holding back a message here. There's a connection here that I'm picking up that you with somebody else. Um, you guys are both kind of thinking and both on the same page, but like I said, not speaking and afraid to open up emotionally at this time for others of you. It's because they are involved in the relationship already which one that they want to leave in. And this is making them have second guesses and second guessing their own relationship, whether or not they should leave it or stay. They definitely have a decision here to make one or the other. And it's confusing right now to you guys. All right, um, Aquarius, if this is your energy, I don't know, this may make sense to you guys. So feel free to reach out to me. I am taking Lover Special readings right now for $33.33. We can read you and your person's energy, how you guys both feel for one another, and what you need to know about this. And, um, yeah, okay, about you and your person. <laughs> Hermit. Guys, um... There is unfounded fear in this. Someone's really afraid to speak up and to speak out how they truly feel. They're expecting the worst. Allowing worry to grow out of proportion. They keep thinking about this connection. They keep thinking about you. But both of you guys right now are confused about how the other person feels for one another. Some of you, it's a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Can uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have also a strong Virgo energy, Taurus energy, Aries energy, Leo. It could be any sign. Um, all of them are in here. Okay, but this is what I have for you guys, Aquarius. If you guys want me to do this on a bi-monthly um, schedule, go ahead and hit that like button for me so I'll know to keep this on my regular schedule and routine. Okay, Aquarius, uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all of you. Feel free to reach out if you want to go to go further into this reading for you, specifically based on your situation and the person you're dealing with. Bye, Aquarius.